in this lesson we will deploy solution 6 to the other environment so export solution publish <laughs> we have done this start the deployment process create a new pipeline pipeline 6 pipeline 6 environment sources this is environment 2 okay save we just have to ensure that the environment 2 is ready so environment 2 looks fine Pipeline 6. Ah, now it is fine. Because I had just created the environment too, so it was still looking for the storage. Common production problem. Very good. Pipeline 6 created. We deploy. Very nice. Very nice. It's going to now say. It's now going to ask for the new values for this environment variable. And remember, we're going to go to deploy it in the other environment as a managed solution. And then we will see how we can change the value of the environment variable. Ah, this we're going to change it to John and then deploy it next. Currently deploying. This is environment two. Let's see when the solution appears. And remember, it should be under managed. Ha, 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 ha. But wait, wait, it is still deploying it. Ah, solution 6 came. It is still saying, ah, deploy it, done. Ha, 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 ha. Solution 6, okay. <clears throat> now inside the app, app 6, we cannot edit. You cannot edit. 
you can run though. Refresh the environment variable. Ah, ah. Now we are not able to change this. <laughs> default value we changed. We didn't change the current value. So it's taking the default value. Anyway, that is not the problem. The problem is we are not able to change the variable 6. So we are going to figure out how we can change this variable 6 in the next video.